It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these AFC South foes. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans coming up next. It's the building that was open the year the franchise became known as the Titans. Welcome to Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. With Brock here, and I'm Kate Scott up here in the booth, and the talk about this game, Brock, is centered, not surprisingly, on a couple of quarterbacks who came through the draft the same year and now in their second season here in the NFL. It doesn't matter if it's year two, year five, year ten, or Tom Brady, you know, like 30 years <laughs> later. They still remember every guy in their class. And when you look across and you see your peer, you are linked together in that draft. You're also linked together in this league that knows how hard getting any win on any day is. And you want this one against your classmate as much as any. Rigoberto Sanchez has it teed up and ready to go. And we're off and running from Nissan Stadium. Julius Chestnut to return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. So the Titans ready for their opening drive of the game. And leading them out is their second year quarterback from Kentucky. He earned several starts as a rookie. It's Will Levis. Levis came into this league with a big old arm and an even bigger chip on his shoulder, Kate based on where he was drafted. I still remember that on draft day, and you could see the disappointment as he fell out of that first round, and because of it, he's just got that fight to him. It's easy to envision him proving those doubters, and so many of those teams who passed on him, wrong. Now start this one on the ground, Pollard. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. The only thing I could say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Levis from the shotgun. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. No connection on the last play, and out third down. From the gun, Levis escapes the pocket. And we can pick for it on the ground. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Throwing now on first down, Levis. That's too close to the sideline, and it's going to be out of bounds. And no look on his first look of the game, and that'll bring up second down. It is such a weapon offensively when you've got a big tight end that can stretch the field vertically. Not a lot of DBs have the size to cover him. They tried to get it to him in that spot where he could win it, but unfortunately, no connection to be made. He's got it, in the run. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 37 on the play. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Levis now on first down. He's on the move. He's going to tuck it and run. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. That is quarterback play one on one. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. 
It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. Third down, one yard to go. This is Pollard running left. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Yeah, I get it. Fans will measure running back's merit by touchdowns, yards, the fantasy football world we live in. But as coaches and teammates, Kate, they want something a little bit more. They want to see plays like that. A guy who will always get the short yards in a critical spot like that. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Shotgun now for Levis. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. He's got it. And that will not be enough for a first down. All plays on the table here for third and three. Throwing is Levis. And he's going to score a touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans finish up an excellent opening series. DeAndre Hopkins, the touchdown. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Dallas Flowers now on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So now the Colts getting their first opportunity on offense in this game. Bringing them out to fourth overall pick. Unfortunately, and that rookie season cut short at just four games. Good to have him back from Florida, Anthony Richardson. Well, injury, well, it rocked all of us, Kate, and I mean all of us from watching the development of Anthony Richardson. Such an unbelievable, unique skill set. As big and strong as any quarterback in this league. And if he took last year's experience of watching Gardner Minshew, just watching a pro go to work, if he took that experience with his skill set, well, the sky is the limit. On first down, it's Richardson. And he let his man just a little too much there. That's an incomplete pass. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. Buys time, rolling right. And he's keeping it. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Give him 13 on that play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for a QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. It's a completion of Michael Pittman Jr. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts finish off their opening. Pittman Jr. with the touchdown. 
I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just gotta ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yeah. You know, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you gotta win right from the jump. Uh -huh. You gotta protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find paper. Matt Gay on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. On the return, here comes Tajay Spears. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So Tennessee headed out for its second drive of the game. They will try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Levis. He's trying to lay it in deep along the right. That's grabbed inside the 30. One of the game's biggest plays right there as they get the markers reset. If only every completion could get that kind of result. That's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Levis here on first down. Short pass caught by his tight end. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top. Stay on top. Stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. They get on second to Pollard. And he'll push this upfield and earn that a new set of downs. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, I gotta talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10 plus, you know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. First down from the red zone. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Defense showing blitz. Levis. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Looking for his wide receiver there. And things look tougher now with third and long. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. Cox on the left side. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. 
I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Has this at the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Colts with their offense out, their second drive coming up. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Offense to the line for second down. Play action with Richardson. There's pressure, and he is dropped by the tackles. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Yeah, let's give some credit to the defense here, Kate. All right, we talk about explosive plays. Every offense is looking for them. But when a defense can go back-to-back, -back, Jack, with the tackle for loss and a sack, well, they're more than doing their job. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. Watched into the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And after the play, one of the Colts is still out there injured. We get a brief stoppage here as they check on him. to sit in that pocket that long, let a play develop, and let that receiver work all the way from one side of the field to the other, and give him a chance to make a play. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. What was supposed to move the chains, or at least make third down easier to handle instead? It did the exact opposite here, Kate. Now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Third and six for them to figure out now. Into the air here. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Throwing from the gun here. Just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. Well, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area and not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. You just couldn't quite find the connection. Second and ten now. On target to his man, Taylor. He's going to get an out past the 40 before he goes out. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and then netted some positive yards. Shotgun now on third down. Take it in by Pierce. And he'll pick up enough to move the 
Unchained. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They'll throw it again. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the gun, Taylor. And he gets this forward to the 19. One quarter down in this all AFC South contest. Just a field goal separates these two. More from Nissan Stadium coming up after the break. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Goal to go. It's a pass play. Has it in close. And he's brought down real close to that goal line. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Option gives to Taylor. And they take it across the goal line for an Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts take a second quarter lead. It's a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. to add the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Return coming from the six. They'll have decent field position to begin with. He'll rock this tackle just beyond that 30 yard line. Out come the Titans for another offensive possession. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. He 
They've got first down from the 31. Levis from the shotgun. game 20 yards there and that's going to move the sticks wow certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that coach really goes to show they trust every single player receiver running back in that case tight end to be a playmaker in this offense throwing now on first down Levis short pass caught by his tight end and he gets it through the midfield stripe and onto the Colts side of the field you know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. It's complete to Hopkins. And this one doesn't go far. The Colts setting a man in the secondary here. Third down coming up. Levis throwing again. He has the first over the middle. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And the Titans will have a first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. They are throwing it again. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. You know, when receivers have room to operate, that's a play that can totally gash a defense. But, Kate, when you get down here in the red zone, it becomes so much tougher because you have a whole lot less space. And, in fact, you'll see defenses swarm like that one just did. On the play fake, it's Levis. Catch me! And he's going to score a touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans take a second quarter lead. DeAndre Hopkins, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Folk on now to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Kickoff taken at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Colts and receiver Michael Pittman Jr. out and ready for their next series. And they've had a real connection looking his way in our opening half. Seems pretty clear that he's the one the coverage is going to have to adjust to and start slowing down.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They give to Taylor, right side. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. Talk to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in the phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. As much as we talk about offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, they want to stay on script. Well, a defense, they want to rip that script up. And a sack like that, Brady, throw the next longs, it's exactly how you get it done. And let's count them. Four, five, yep, six DBs. Dime look from the Titans on third down. He's on the move. He's running for it. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. This is one of those occasions that it looks so promising when you take off as a quarterback, and then you're reminded just how fast these defenses are in the NFL. Couldn't quite move the chains, but it wasn't for a lack of trying. Holt's going to kick this away now on fourth, and it's Rigoberto Sanchez on for the punt. Takes this in at the 25, and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Titans and Will Levis set to take over again. Officially a 55-yard launch, and the Titans will get set to take over. They're out and set, first and ten. Levis now off the play fake. And the Colts get to him, he goes down! And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. This offense has been in a rhythm, settled in and found it in the first half, but hopefully that sack for this defense can disrupt that rhythm just a little bit. Kind of reminds me, Kate, in baseball, when you're facing an elite pitcher, just get somebody on base. Just make that pitcher think a little bit. Hopefully that sack for this defense does the same to the QB. Trying again, following the sack. Has his man, it's Ridley. And a nice game here, but it stops short of the first. And on third down, the Colts going with the nickel here. Shotgun now for Levis. Boyd hauls it in. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. The Titans sending out Ryan Stonehouse now on fourth down to in turn send a punt away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Colts will take over. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. This is reeled in by Pittman. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Taylor trying the left side. 
And he stopped after a nice gain up past the 25. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Looking to throw on third and one. This one finds Taylor. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be first down, Colts. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed, enough to keep this drive moving. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Straight ahead with Taylor. And he's still looking for the play that strikes the ground game as that one stuck for a loss. So through a flurry of points, we have hit the two-minute warning. The Colts pushing for points. All right, here we go. Second down. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Colts operating from the hurry up, rushing back to the line. Third and short yard to Cheer Richardson. Got a man over the middle, complete. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. He picks up 15 on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Well, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long. It only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. They'll throw again, Richardson. Complete out to the right side. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century, and it's a play that works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. 34 coming up now. Looking from the gun, it's Richardson. That's complete to Pittman. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout, so that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. to the line and they're set first and ten Richardson back to throw this one's hauled in on the left side and he gets back to the line but no more defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. Here's Matt Gay for the Colts field goal. It's only a chip shot from the right hatch. 
And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it'll knock this game up late in the second quarter. In that close, in the red zone, you know they're upset. They couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. what you got for us all right kate thanks very much back to you and brock in a bit but first time for our ea sports halftime report we thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed they're all even to this point this has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire one mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference all right thank you coach and we are back and about set to begin the second half The first half controlled by the offenses, Brock. Let's see if the defenses can take over in the second half. We're underway. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return of the 27. The Colts and Anthony Richardson headed back onto the field. And his effectiveness hasn't been limited to what he can do with his arm this season. On that last drive, he reached a significant mark for his efforts on the ground as well. Starts out with a first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete. Nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. You know, that was a play, Kate, right there, where you need to buy your receivers just enough time to get open along your routes. And your quarterback enough time to find and hit him with the throw. Time? Well, that's not what he had. Old line couldn't hold up, and it forces the incompletion. Second down carry for Taylor. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Chance to have the chains here on third and four. Richardson to throw. Down the middle, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He picks up 28 on the play. And it'll be first down, Colts. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Running right, this is Taylor. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. You know, that's a good one right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Second and six now. Escapes the pocket. Steps up and he's running with it. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. 
I mean, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass, and then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. First and goal, here's Taylor. And he's going to advance them down to the four-yard line. It's a pick up a five, and that brings up second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal. Right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. Another shot for Taylor. They take it across the goal line for an Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts take the lead right away in half number two. It's a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Gay to add the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Starting from the five. This return makes it up to the 25. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. From the gun, Levis. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. They've got first down from the 31. Levis from the shotgun. To the sideline, and it is caught. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute. First and ten, it's Fowler. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Here's second and 11. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. Decent game here, but short of the first. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. 
gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. On third down, Pollard. And he'll get this down to the 33 yard line. Pick up of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Levis here on first down. It's complete to Hopkins. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Second and six coming up here. They give to Pollard from the gun. And he's tackled for no gain. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. The Colts setting a man in the secondary here. Third down coming up. An early jump of the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. After the penalty, third and a yard coming up. Running it after the penalty. That short game is enough for him to set it down. Not trying to do too much there. Short yardage situation. Just make sure you get to the marker and reset those chains. They have themselves another first and ten. Levis into the hands of Okonkwo. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. A good pickup. They've got second and four. Up the middle, here goes Pollard. And he got what he could there, rolling to the 14. Only a yard on the pickup, so that's going to bring them to third down and three. Some early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go, or was he provoked? A costly false start penalty as third down becomes much more difficult to convert as they back it up five. Throwing his Levis on third down. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Well, kid, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. It's a 36-yard look for him. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and two for two for this kicker. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Colts have running back Jonathan Taylor headed out with the rest of the offense. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they can really use some more points on this drive.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Again, left side to Taylor. Oh, stiff arm. They'll get 18 yards there. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano a mano and stop this guy. you got to have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to run right through you. Richardson now on first and ten. He steps in and makes the interception. Roger McCreary takes it away. but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't it? <laughs> like, Starts running yep. the back, scans a field for a lane, then the clocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. Folk on now to try the point after. chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. His return starts at the five. Finds some space. He's past the 30. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Now the Indianapolis offense heading out. All their scoring has kept them close, but they still find themselves trailing by just a little in this third quarter. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. After the pick, Richardson back to the air. Finds his man down. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Taylor now, up the middle. Trying to find some positive yardage. He's across the 45. And he gets this down to the 38. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. I love these inside runs. Don't get away from them. You never know. You think it's going to be a short little game, and then boom, get the right blocking, a possessed running back, and you get some serious yards on the table. Set of downs for him at the 38. On first down, it's Richardson. its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And the shotgun, it's Richardson. On target to his man, Taylor. And that'll be enough for the first as they touch him down. 
You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Richardson now. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. And throw again, Richardson. That one falls to the turf. Come hang on. It's incomplete. I think everybody in the building was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short throw of the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those drops. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Richardson. Complete beyond the marker. And look at this inside the 10 to the 9. A nice gate of eight there, and that brings them to first and goal. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's the Colts' ball. They're down on the scoreboard, but things not out of hand yet. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Now a run with Taylor. And it's a game down to the five-yard line. This is going to go as a pickup of four. Second and goal coming up. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign. We're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They go again with Taylor. And he's stuck just a little short of the goal line. He's down to the two. A pick up a four. That brings up third and goal. Looking from the gun. It's Richardson. And he has. take a fourth quarter lead it's an anthony richardson touchdown great play by the qb there brock the play broke down he didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise and in the end turned out to be the best call he could have made it is such a necessary tool in today's nfl for that qb to put right in his tool belt kate you know in my day you could be a blacksmith Right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You gotta be an artist. And you gotta be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Starting from the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. They're out and set. First and ten. Levis now off the play fake. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk. 
ask a thrower for something, it brings up second down. That's a very quick trigger, and the hurry throw was much tougher to complete. He may have rushed that one, thinking the pressure was just about to get to him in the pocket. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun now for Levis. He's got it, room to run. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. Throwing now on first down, Levis. Defensively there, got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. I think it's fair to say, in the eye in the sky didn't lie, without that ball being tipped, we were looking at the big game. They missed opportunity to push their offense in a great play on the other side to deny the throw. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. On the play fake, it's Levis. He rolls to his right. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Even from the booth, Kate, I could hear it. I could hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys, and I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver? And that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. And on third down, the Colts going with the nickel here. Now Levis. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. Well, they have a look. Shelly didn't shy away from it, but couldn't connect. And now they're stuck facing fourth down. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. Hunter on now, and he gets into this one. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt goes 63 yards. And it's going to be their football coming up. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going down. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. This dude was just not going to be stopped, not by the first defender, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. Quite the start to that drive, Vaughn. The first place sets him up now at the 38. Off the play fake. Here's Richardson. He's going to push one deep down the right. And this is going to end up incomplete. Really had to have there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. There was a window there for a moment. But boy, did they close the gap before that throw could arrive. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Richardson to throw. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. So now it's going to be third and long. You know, that's one of those situations you want to get you back in space. Well, you accomplish that. Unfortunately, you don't make anything happen because you don't bring the ball in cleanly. Richardson on third. There's pressure. He is dropped. Kate, the game wasn't on the line with that series. <laughs> but don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting up fourth down, well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense gets a chance in a one-score game. 
The Colts ready for the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. He feels it cleanly. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Got first down from the 31. They'll start this one on the ground with Pollard. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, Kate. Okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on the broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Levis now on first down. Flushed out of the pocket. He's keeping it. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB. And it gave him just enough room to run. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 42. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's brought down at about that 27 yard line. The end result there 15 yards and a first. Okay, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers, toss awesome them with tight ends, but when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Has his man, it's Ridley. And this one does not go far. Second down now, seven to go. From the 24. Pass cut by Ridley. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. I get a win, too. Sometimes, you can get to win-win. Motion in right is Hopkins. Levis throwing again. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Tennessee. The Titans take a fourth quarter lead. So that brought an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined looking drive. They were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. Close play here, so the officials want to take a second look at it. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why, it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for mm -hmm. error, and it happens oh so fast. Well, good thing they reviewed it, because after further examination, the call on the field has changed. Offense looking confident, but they need four here on fourth down. They'll go, Levis. His third through the air this game. 
So that brought an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined-looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied, and they're able to score and take the lead. Missed to go up by a field goal here in the fourth. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Return starts at the three. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone that hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really been the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. possession to sit on the bench to get their breath and now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down on first down it's richardson fails out of the pocket quick stepping up and he's going to run and they catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down 
that chunk with a nice 21 yards. And it'll be first down, Colts. As much as you'd like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you've got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that. First down throw here from Richardson. On target to Downs. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. is shaping up to be the late touchdown here Brock moves them in front and week to week what a pleasure it is for us to call these games we never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get this one's been everything you could have wanted and now even though they've taken the lead there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response now a crucial point after to stretch the lead beyond a field goal One splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead has it all set for the kickoff. Starting at the 10. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Titans ready to take over on offense. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. drive will start out with a first and ten. Looking to throw it. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. They'll head up, first and ten from the 42. Here he is to throw. Has the connection to Ridley. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. Titans in the hurry up, trying to get this play off fast. Now to throw. <laughs> throw finds a pocket. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. 
defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Throwing now. Oconco brings it in. And he's short of the first after a mild game. You know, Kay, that is the epitome of trust right there. Right when the ball is let out of his hands, I think everybody on the sidelines in the stadium went, because <gasps> he threw it in double coverage. And you may question the decision, but it's tough to challenge it when it produces results like that. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep... Now, hang on. They want to take another look at this play. And a very important call coming up late in this game. Well, we can see he made the catch. He definitely has possession. But did both of those feet hit down in the end zone? Yeah, get that zoom button ready to go. Get the magnifying glass. <laughs> Was there any green right between his feet and that end line? That's what they're going to be looking for in the replay booth. So upon further review and a consultation from Game Day Central, the call overturned. Pretty important PAT here, Brock, to make it a field goal game. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Fielded at the seven. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. His offense headed out as we get a look at their running back. a good pickup. They've got second and four. Back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. Here he is to throw! Take it in by Pierce. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. And with four seconds remaining, they're going to take a timeout.
For students of this incredible game, Brock, they'll know just how incredible a finish we all just witnessed. Very rarely does a game end on a walk-off touchdown, and even rarer does it happen on that type of home run play. Yeah, these fans, they came here hoping for a good game, and they got a great one. <laughs> they were all just treated to what you and I were treated to, one of the most memorable finishes we've ever called.